Anna coming to you from the Beehive. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a triple heart easel card. The idea for this card came from my downline Valley Henley. Thanks Valley for allowing me to share this card with everyone. So this card has three hearts that stand up uh, to create an interesting effect. Each of these hearts can fold down, the smallest one, the middle one, and the large one and it lays flat so you can mail this card in an envelope and then when the person gets it they just lift up each of the hearts the large one the medium one, the small one and the small one will tuck behind this dazzling diamond heart that's on a dimensional and then the medium heart tucks into the heart in front of it and finally the last heart tucks into the one in front of that so you get kind of this easel uh, effect and when it sits flat it actually stays down so I'm going to show you how to make this card and um, to, to make this card you are going to need the big shot and you will need the hearts framelit collection set that aside for a moment so the first piece that we are going to uh, cut with our hearts, you'll need a piece of cardstock that is seven and a quarter inches long by four and a half inches wide. And you're going to score this card in the middle at the three and five eighths inch mark. And then we're going to fold this piece in half along the score line like this. I'm just using my bone folder here to burnish this edge to make it lie flat. And then I'm going to take my largest flat heart. There is one larger, but it's got scallop edge on it. So we're going to just take the largest one that we have. And I've got brand new cutting plates today. Um, so, and I'm going to be using my magnetic platform. And I'm going to keep the the open end of this uh, folded piece towards me and the tip of my heart is going to go right down at the bottom of this card. I'm going to lift this up and put it right into the camera. This heart lines up right with the edge of the open end of the heart and then the sides right here are right along the side edges. And you'll notice the heart um, doesn't have any cardstock up here. We want that because the folded edge does not, this will not be cut. So we're going to go ahead and put on my second cutting plate and we're going to roll this through. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we've got our heart and this is a piece we just threw away. And we've got the heart piece that opens up like this. We can set that aside. And then we're going to do our next heart. So we're going to need a piece of cardstock now that is five and three quarter inches by three and five eighths inches. And then you're going to score this piece in half at the two and seven eighths inch mark. And then um, we're going to take our bone folder again and we're going to crease this fold that you created. And again, the open end is going to be towards you. And now we're going to take the next heart size down, okay? And I'm going to put this again, the tip is going on the bottom edge, right along the edge. And the sides are lined up with the side and the top part of your heart will not have any cardstock in it. But this is the folded edge right there. Put your net, your cutting plate back on there. And let's roll that through. Okay, so you can discard this piece. And then this is the middle heart. Okay. Alright, so now we need to do one more. And this piece will be four and a half inches by two and three quarter inches. And then you're going to score it at the two and a quarter inch mark. And again, we're going to fold it in half 
burnish it with your bone folder so you get a nice clean edge to work with. Then we are going to take the third largest straight heart, not the scallop one, so count one, two, three, and the next smallest one. And I'm going to put this one again, same deal. The folded, the sorry, the open end is towards me. The tip of the heart is down right at the bottom. The sides of the heart are on the side and the top is open here. That's where the fold is. Okay, and then I'm going to run it through one more time. Okay, and then you're going to get a piece, discard that, that looks like this. It's like it folds open like that. Okay, set that aside. Now, we're going to um, score these little hearts. I'm going to bring in my scoring tool, my stylus tool, and here's the largest, the middle, and the smallest heart that we just did. And the largest heart, we're going to open it up, okay? And we are going to put the side of the heart. Um, up at the top of the scoring board, okay? So make sure it's balanced and even here. And one of the tips of the heart is going to be right along this left edge right here. So you want this to be balanced up top on the edge, and then the tip is going to be over on this left hand side. And then we are going to score that one at the two inch mark. So we're going to start here at the two, we're going to bring it down, we're going to score it right there, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold this, actually we're going to fold it this way. We're going to open it up, fold it down, and then we're going to take our bone folder and do that, okay? So that's the first piece. Now we're going to take the medium piece and we're going to again put the sides right up at the top and then the point on the left hand side and this time we're going to score this medium heart at the one and a half inch mark. So that's right here. So I'm going to come down and score that at the one and a half inch mark. And then we're going to fold this forward like this. I'm going to burnish it with my bone folder, okay? We need one more. This is the small heart. Again, put the sides of the heart up at the top here. The, the point of uh, one of the hearts is over on the left side. And this time, we're going to score the small heart at the one and one eighth inch mark. So just go ahead, score that and then bring this in and just going to score it like that. Okay, so you can set that aside and you can set your scoring tool aside. Okay, now we're going to cut some more single hearts. So we're going to take a piece, I've cut this piece of cardstock eight and a half by four and a quarter inches. Let's see. Yep, yeah, eight and a half by four and a quarter inches. And I'm going to cut three, the three hearts that we just used, I'm going to use those again. So I'm going to cut a, a large heart. I'm going to cut, let me scoot this a little bit. I'm going to cut a medium heart. And we're going to cut the, the smaller heart. So kind of three sizes nesting downwards. And where's my cutting plate? Okay. So these hearts will match up with the hearts that we already cut previously. Okay. So take this out. So we have a medium, a small, and a large 
while I have this out here, I'm going to go ahead and cut myself a big black scallop heart for my base. And so just pop that on a piece of basic black. We'll go through and we'll cut a base for our project. Okay. There we go. We can set this aside for a moment. Okay, I've arranged all the pieces I've cut and scored in front of me. And so we're gonna start with the largest folded heart, okay? And we're going to glue these two together. So I'm going to take my Tombow, and on this folded piece here, this tip piece that's folded, we're gonna put adhesive on that. So get this glue going. Okay, there we go. Just going to put it on this bottom tip piece, okay? I think you can see that. And then we're going to glue the biggest heart just over top. It should fit perfectly on the bottom part. And then the top part is going to stick up. Once this is not sliding around anymore, I'll show you. So, okay, so I've uh, glued my single heart to this folded piece. So now it will fold down flat, but it will move back. I'm trying to see if I can get that in the camera. But folded and then it moves back uh, like that, okay? All right, so that's the first heart. Then we're gonna do the next smallest one. And again, I'm going to um, take glue and put it on this folded piece. It's just like half the heart, the bottom tip. And then we're gonna glue the single heart onto there. And just take a moment, because if you're using Tombow, of course it's gonna slide around a bit until it squishes down and takes hold. But once that Tombow takes hold, you're really good to go. And again, you can see that the single heart will fold flat and then it comes up like that, okay? So that's the medium one. And then the small one, um, doing the little tip again, okay? And then we're gonna glue the single heart onto this folded piece here like that. Just need to hold it for a second, so. Okay, so again, it folds down and then it opens, okay? So now what we're gonna do is, is we're going to uh, glue everything down to our, our base piece. So, um, uh, the folded part, you can see on the back, um, it's not quite a full heart here, and there's there's a fold. This is the part that's gonna be glued down to the base of the card. So it kinda comes around like this. Make sure you put the glue on the correct side, not the side where there's a full heart. It's the wrong side. Ask me how I know, because I did that with one of them. Um, I And I knew I was, I, I just did it wrong. I, I even know I knew how the whole contraption worked and I still did it wrong. So just make sure you put the glue on the correct side. And you're just going to center this on our base piece here. Make sure it's good and solid. Okay, and then we're going to take our next piece, and again, not the full heart side, the one that has the fold on the back. I think you can see where it's folded right there. Okay, that's the part we want to glue on and you can put glue all over this base piece. Okay, and then you're going to open up your heart by folding it back, okay? And then we're gonna fold the hearts or glue the hearts tip to tip. So you're going to center it so it's like even on either side, but the tips are all gonna line up. See right there? All my tips are lining up. I'm not centering this heart, 
the tips are, are lined up here on the bottom. Okay. So last but not least, I'm going to grab my smallest heart. Again, we're gluing on the folded side right here. You can see that it's not the full heart side. Okay, just put glue all over that. Okay, and then we're going to lift up um, the two hearts, the two bigger hearts. And again, we're going to glue the tip to the one that was right in front of it so you've got all the tips are lined up here at the bottom at least all the red heart tips okay and then you can kind of see how it's already getting ready to to be folded back but we're missing our little heart piece so to create this little anchor piece down here i've cut a heart out of dazzling diamonds uh, glimmer paper using the smallest heart and then what we're going to do is grab a dimensional which is a foam dot <clears throat> I'm going to stick one on the back right here and I'm going to remove the backing of the dimensional and we're going to put um, the heart not on the tip but kind of maybe a quarter inch um, or a little bit more away from the bottom tip on this dimensional and the dimensional is going to give it a little bit of um, uh, lift so that the a first heart has something to tuck behind so now this heart will tuck behind um, the dimensional heart and this one will tuck behind um, uh, this folded heart and then the last one will tuck uh, behind the rest so they'll all kind of tuck into to each other like that Okay, and so now um, all we need to do is I'm going to show you what I did to decorate these hearts. So I took some uh, designer series paper. It's actually a really nice little paper pack called um, the Stack with Love designer series paper. It comes in this little pad and there's all sorts of pretty Valentine's colors. And on the back, there's all these black and white patterns so you can use the ones with red and uh, the corals and um, uh, during for Valentine's Day and then you can flip it over and use the black and white for a different occasion it's very cool paper so I've cut hearts one size smaller than each of these so for this heart I cut one size smaller um, this heart I cut the next size smaller so you can see that there's a little bit of a red edge around so I cut those and then I use the Groovy Love stamp set and I stamped um, Groovy Kind of Love on uh, with Real Red Ink on Whisper White and then I used the second smallest heart to cut it out. And then I um, stamped You Make My Heart Go Boom Boom on a piece of paper. I think I started out with um, uh, a two and three quarter inch by five eighths inch a little uh, rectangle of paper and then I stamped you make my heart go boom boom on there and then I to create the little V's on the end I used the little uh, the smallest heart framelit and I just ran it through um, the tip of the heart on on the the ends here on each of them here I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see but I just ran it through like this uh, with the heart tip sticking in so that created the little V's on either side and then finally I stamped the little word love on whisper white and I punched it out with my half inch circle heart uh, ha sorry half inch circle punch and then um, you can layer all of these pieces onto here and that will finish off the decoration of your heart and then when you're done you have your uh, card with all of its uh, pieces and it's a really nice showpiece heart it's for that special someone in your life um, and they can you know uh, display it really uh, somewhere special and then you know it's nice too because you can can mail it so all the supplies you'll need to make this card will be available for purchase on my blog I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial bye for now